नमस्ते यूर ऑन द नेशन एट फाइव आई मानो नरसिमन कमिंग टू लाइव फ्रॉम अ बजिंग सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन न्यूज रूम दिस फ्राइडे इवनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन एंड वी स्टार्ट विद अ सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन एक्सक्लूसिव एंड एक्सक्लूसिव विच हैज मेनी लेयर्स एंड मेनी कॉन्टेक्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज अबाउट द किलिंग ऑफ रिपुदमन मलिक इन कैनेडा अ खालिस्तानी someone who is an accused and then was acquitted by the courts in the kanishk bombing and hijacking matter but more importantly somebody who seemed to have a change of heart in the way there was a certain amount of organization against india and this entire secessionist movement that is khalistan he is a khalistani but he believed and he had turned around and it started from the 17th of january 2022 when he had written a letter to the prime minister in which he had extolled uh, all the able, all the uh, efforts to try and integrate and also reach out and help and work with the sikh community the steps that had been taken to honor the service of the sikh community as to, uh, for bharat now these were the aspects but this man who was shot dead in surrey in canada's british columbia on thursday morning riputaman malik like i said was acquitted in the 1985 air india bombing case and now cnn news 18 has ex- accessed an intelligence note on the grounds the scenarios around riputaman malik's murder which indicates a plot to silence elements in the khalistani ecosystem who are siding with india who are turning around and moving away from the secessionist narrative and more importantly this man on the 20th of july was poised to make mega exposes on khalistani operatives who are working at the indications or perhaps at the goading of foreign elements enemy elements who want to bleed india with a thousand cuts now this is the information that we have as far as from our top intel sources this information has been accessed by our investigations editor manoj gupta now here are the here are the inputs the plot to silence voices aligned with india is a foot Riputaman Malik founded the Khalsa Credit Union and Khalsa School in Canada. He was set to start a Khalsa college and he had invited the Akal Takht Jathedar. The Jathedar was set to visit Malik to lay the foundation for the Khalsa college. The Akal Takht Jathedar visit was cancelled after protests by those critical of Riputaman Malik. Riputaman Malik did not allow the college to be used. for anti india speeches saying i will not allow it to be a platform for anti india speeches he had spoken on a canadian punjabi channel sanja tv calling anti india elements enemies of sikhs he has even named some of them he named muninder boyle and hardeep nijjar riputaman malik decided to expose them in a series of interviews and his first interview was scheduled on the same platform that is sanja tv on the 20th of july riputaman malik praised prime minister narendra modi for which he was called qom ka gaddar by none other than hardeep nijjar who used the platform of a sikh temple in surrey in british columbia canada to do the same where he spoke for more than an hour and this happened on the 22nd of january 2021 just four or five days after riputaman malik had sent off a letter to the prime minister or addressed to the prime minister thanking him for the overtures and the work that's been done for the sikh community in india under the modi sarkar now i have rajinder kumar ji former special director ib with me rajinder kumar ji there are many angles aspects to this there would be many people who would question the credibility of a riputaman malik who was himself accused later acquitted in the kanishk matter uh, uh, 1985 hair uh, uh, hijacking bombing hijacking matter but many are asking the seriousness or the level of control exercised by these khalistani elements are operating on canadian soil their influence with india and the levels to which they will go to because just the other day their hand is suspected in the desecration of the mahatma gandhi statue in ba- ba- in vancouver also See, Canada has always remained the hotbed of Khalistani extremists. So, so and uh, they particularly anybody speaking, anybody from their ranks speaking uh, in favor of India is the traitor, and they punish. And unfortunately, in Canada, I'm I'm sorry to say, 
that in Canada, nobody is punished for uh, doing, uh, for killing people. Like Ujjal Singh Dosan, he was killed. Where are the accused? Similarly, another journalist was killed because of pro-India writing. He was, there is no, no, no punishment to anybody. So, and the Canadian government, the present political setup of Canada, it, uh, it survives with the help of this uh, Khalistani extremists. So that's how they are getting a free hand there. In fact, you know that some of the ministers in the present cabinet, uh, Canadian cabinet, they are also having a pro-Khalistani view and have been strong supporters of the Khalistani. So in such circumstances, anybody who uh, speaks for India, who, who has understood the reality of the Khalistani movement and who has understood, who has come and seen India with his own eyes, he finds that there is a, the, the things are not what they were propagated in Canada by some of the people who have left India in 50, late 50s and early 60s. The things are totally different. Punjab is a, Indian Punjab is a very modern place with the Sikhs mm -hmm. having all the facilities, with the Sikhs having all the freedoms. The freedoms which even I would say that even Canadian Sikhs may not have, but they have the facilities here in India. There is the Sikh in India. Sikhs enjoy total equality. They are not, they are in fact, they are uh, respected people. Everybody who sees a Sikh normally has a res respect for him being a, because in India, Sikhs have been part of Indian army has a tradition of having the large number of Sikhs. The most of this leader, uh, quite a large percentage of its leadership come from Sikh soldiers of Punjab. So in Punjab, the Sikhs are respected people and anybody who have one or two trips of India suddenly becomes pro-Indian. So that's right. what is not tolerated by these extremists who whose total bread and butter lies on this so-called Khalistani <coughs> movement. They collect money and they enjoy their life with this. And in, right. in Canada, you see, beside the, the Babar Khalsa, which is the to which Ripu Daman Singh Malik also belonged earlier. Yes. There is a Sikh, International Sikh Youth Federation in the at a uh, pro-terrorist group. In fact, the terrorist groups, uh, you will be surprised that Bindrawali's son is uh, in Canada and uh, his brother, Bindrawali's brother, is mm. in uh, Pakistan, Lakhbir Singh, by Lakhbir Singh Rode. So they, and the Panjwar, Group also has a presence in Canada. He has a, Punjabi is again in Pakistan. Bhadawa Singh has a presence in Canada, and he has yeah. a, again in Pakistan. Pakistan. So these are the some of the militant groups. They, 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 their workers are there in Canada, and somebody must have decided to punish it. Now let me also say one thing: some yeah. of these groups are so. So what I would say, okay. Hmm. They have a somehow, somehow they, they, they don't, they have a great disliking for people who in any way support BJP or BJP leadership. Hmm. You would see, see how pers earlier uh, Rashtriya's Sikh Panchayat leader was killed in Punjab. Similarly, yes. here also in Hinderji Singh Rayev spoke about Mr. Modi and that's, I think that may be the uh, right. tipping point for those fellows to uh, kill him. Right. They have been, they, they just they don't, because they know that the difference, if the sick difference between sick and Hindus in Punjab. Right. Sir, sir you, had, you, you, you named a few of these people. Now, uh, now, please stay with me. We'll come back to this story in just a bit. We've just